Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. What's up everybody? John from the Vegan Zombie here. Coming at you from the safe zone. I've been zombie free here for two weeks now. It's pretty awesome. Pretty safe. So, what are we going to make today? Well, I'm thinking we should make a vegan breakfast burrito because it's easy and it uses our old recipe that we do a little simple variation with, uh, our tofu scramble, probably right around here. Now, what do we need to get started? We're going to get some burrito shells that are vegan. We're going to get some extra firm tofu, just one brick. If you got it in your area, get some smart bacon. And you can't eat anything without Daya cheese. Today we're going to use the pepper jack flavor. Tomato, potato, and onion, or one onion. Get some hot sauce. And then we're going to need some thyme, some basil, some turmeric, and some garlic powder. And that should do it. Start with a nice medium heated pan. Add about two, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Let that heat up for a second and then add your potatoes first. You want to dice that potato up into a small cube like this. Look at that bad boy. Here we go. And these are going to take the longest to cook so we'll put that in first. Cook it for maybe five minutes. Basically with these bad boys you just want to get them brown and crispy. So once they start to brown up we'll add our tofu. We're going to toss a little bit of salt and pepper in there. About a half a teaspoon each. Oop. I'm hungry. While those potatoes are cooking, you can cut up your bacon, you can cut up your onion. I have about four pieces of bacon here, and I love to add this just because it really adds a good flavor to the whole dish. So what we're going to do with these guys is cut them into little squares. Okay, and then the onion. I used about a quarter of the whole onion and I just got these little guys kind of a medium to small dice. Toss in my herbs about a half a teaspoon each of thyme and basil and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of hot sauce. Hot sauce will kind of help deglaze the pan a little bit get all those potato skins off. Potatoes are about three quarters of the way done now's the time to add these onions and the bacon. Stir it all together That bacon makes it smell so good, I just want to eat it now. So I took the tofu and I cut it in half and we're going to add this next. Make sure you strain it before you throw it in there because it retains a lot of water. A good tip is when you buy the tofu, throw it in the freezer overnight or for a couple days. Take it out, put it in the fridge, let it thaw out and it really, really it acts like a sponge almost and you can squeeze out the water a lot easier. No! <laughs> now we're going to crumble it up. Add it to the pan, stir it in, add a little bit of turmeric, about a teaspoon for color. Be careful with it because you don't want it, it, it ends up tasting kind of grainy if you put too much in there. So just a teaspoon of turmeric and then a teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're going to take a quarter of that big tomato, we're going to dice it up really fine and then add that to the dish. Finish it up, we add about a handful, a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of the cheese, of the Daya cheese. And we use it for, not only just for flavor, but it also really helps bind it. Keeps the burrito together. So stir that enough to melt the cheese. So we're ready to take it off the heat now and let it kind of cool a little bit. While we're doing that, we're gonna steam our burritos. This makes about four burritos, or two really, really fat ones. What I like to do with these is just kind of Turn it on low heat, put a cover on it for about 20 seconds just to kind of make it nice and stretchy. It's time to wrap it up. Start by putting maybe two spoonfuls in the center, depending on what size, how fat you want your burrito. I like them fat. All right. This is the easy part. Just fold the bottom, fold the top. And roll it. Voila. 
Maybe top it off with a little ketchup. I don't know, hot sauce, whatever you like. And then bite into it. Check us out at TheVeganZombie.com or go over to our YouTube page and check us out and subscribe because we'll keep you up to date on all of our newest recipes. And it'll be awesome. And I want to throw something else out there. Our friends over at PETA2 are throwing a summer campaign called Flesh for Zombies and you can find it right here at PETA2.com forward slash zombies. Until I see you guys again, keep it healthy, keep it vegan, keep it real.